now. Good afternoon, everybody, and a very warm welcome to Vlog Boxing Chapel. Task completed. Uh, as I said on yesterday, Robin has done every solitary inch from Mark Mason's Hall to here. I can't believe exactly the same, but uh, I've had a little bit of a go and I've had a very, very good time uh, during our journey over the last week up to get here. It's been very rewarding, very fulfilling, and uh, Around the chapel, it's, uh, it was a very, very nice conclusion. It's a beautiful, beautiful building, obviously steeped in Masonic history, tradition, and, and stories, and it was it was lovely to see it. Also lovely to have Paul here with us to be able to share our arrival, and we'll put him on in a minute. But uh, our staff at the moment, uh, the the, uh, the guy that did manage to do the whole trip, um, an outstanding performance, performance, Robin, and over to you. Well, hello there. Last day, was in chapel, absolutely magnificent. And Tim, true to form this morning, told me it's a little six mile jog on the bike to Roslyn Chapel. He didn't tell me about the 16% climb up to it. But we have made it, we are here, and it is a magnificent building and really worth the effort. It's fabulous to be here. And we're in a lovely sunny day as well. It's not warm, but it is Scotland, but at least it's sunny and we can enjoy it and I'm really looking forward to relaxing at the weekend and recovery. It's been super, really good experience, loved it. Thanks very much for everyone organising, for Tim for having the idea. Although I have a thought there's been times this week when I've told him what he could do with his ideas, <laughs> but it's been great. And thanks everyone who supported us and for all those that have pledged the money to the charity. I'm certain people may be really put to good use in the future. So over to Paul. Well, I guess I get to round it all up by congratulating these two sterling chaps on all their hard work. If you'd have seen them as I did this morning, covered in sweat, masquerading as cyclists, telling us they'd actually cycled 550 miles.